we're doing the whirly gig experiment. What the kids are doing is they're learning about centrifugal force and they don't know that word yet. So this is a complete inquiry lab and they are building um, little flyers that rotate in the air. They're changing variables so that their flyers either have extra weight or they have releasing in a different angle or um, another class wanted to change the whole material that was used. But we had to cut it a specific way. So if you cut it wrong, it won't spin as fast as you cut, if you cut it right. So we, we was trying to figure out what can make the world get spin faster. So we, we had a couple of ideas. We had to figure out some paper clips or string. Uh, so we put the paper clips on there to see how fast will it spin. First we had to, we had to cut out the, the bases of the paper to make the rotators. And we had to fold on the dotted lines for the body. And we had to fold the foot to the back of the paper in order to make it rotate. And we did two processes. If you put the two um, clips up there, it the force will make it bring down and spin it more. If you put the thing at the bottom and let it loose, it also help it spin because of the force that's holding down on it and making it spin. All of our units in life science, all of our units in physical science have engineering units because it's next generation science standards. Building and modeling is huge. Um, so for us, engineering process of creating, going through the, um, the original designs and changing them, it's, it's beyond important for their high school skills. And there's careers all over Baltimore that use engineering and the students need to be aware of what they're doing.